Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I've got a recipe for you that is it was on one of the diabetic sites. I just wanted to try this out. This is not diabetic, right? I mean, the way that I'm fixing it today is not diabetic, um, but if I had the correct ingredients, I definitely could fix it with this. It just calls for sugar-free stuff, and I don't have that. So I've got to use all this stuff up, and I don't have the money right now to go out and change everything and change it to sugar-free and stuff like that. So I'm just going to have to do what I'm doing and just not eat as much and try to um, get some vegetables. I want to thank y'all very much for telling me about collard greens and kale because that is two of the best things that a diabetic can eat and I'd never had them before so now I know that I love collard greens and kale and so that's definitely going to be a vegetable that I'm going to be eating. Alright now let's get back to this chicken. It's called Polynesian chicken and I'm doing it different from the recipe, but I've got, um, this is four medium potatoes, russet potatoes. I've just washed them. I didn't peel them. I've just washed them, and I have them in this casserole dish, and I've sprayed this casserole dish. And then I have five chicken breasts that I've got to cut up into two-inch pieces. And so I'm not really worried about cutting them up into two-inch pieces. I'm just worried about getting these cut up. So that's what I'm doing right now. And putting the chicken. The chicken is going on top of the potatoes. And this is boneless, skinless um, chicken breast. And... I'm going to go on, like I said, and cut these up into pieces, and I will bring you back when I get all this done and show you the rest of the recipe. Okay, I'm back. I've got all my chicken cut up in my casserole dish, and it says to use two pounds of chicken in the recipe, but I just, I mean, I had these five chicken breasts that I was going to grill today on the grill and freeze them. But it's been raining for days here, and I just didn't feel like getting out in the rain. So, I decided to make this Polynesian chicken. Alright, the first thing that I'm going to use is, this is supposed to be fat-free um, French dressing. But, I don't have it. So, I've got to use, this hadn't been opened until just a few minutes ago, and... I've got to use this, so this is just great value French dressing, creamy, and this is a 16 ounce bottle, and I'm going to use about half of it for this. Alright, so French, about a half a bottle of French dressing, and then this is um, peach preserves. It's supposed to be sugar-free peach preserves or ap apricot preser preserves, but I didn't have either one of them, so I'm just using regular peach preserves. It's um, supposed to be about, well, with this, it's going to be uh, about four teaspoons. I mean, tablespoons of the preserves. Alright. And like I said, this would be totally diabetic if I, um, if I had the right stuff, but I don't. So, I'm just having to use what I've got until I can get to the store and can afford to get sugar-free stuff. And now, now I'm just going to have to be limiting my portions and trying like with this once this gets ready tonight I'll have a salad with this 
Um, so, and that's it. So my, I'll be, you know, not, I'll be cutting down on all of my, um, portions because of the sugar diabetes. All right. And this is a, um, I'm sorry, I didn't even show you. This is a pack of Lipton Recipe Secrets Onion Soup or Dip Mix. So, it says for a packet of onion soup mix, so that's, hopefully that's what this is. And this goes in here. Alright, and then I'm going to take my little whisk, and I'm going to mix this all up in here. Get the French dressing and the um, peach preserves and the onion mix stirred up and whisked all together. Alright, now that should be about half of it. So I'm going to take the spoon and rub this all over the chicken, cover this up, put it in the oven, cover it up with aluminum foil, put it in the oven for an hour, and when I get back to that part, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. It's been an hour, and... I'm going to stir this up a little bit. You can tell that it's not done. Um, I guess maybe I've got too much in here, but I had to, like I said, I had to use this chicken. So, I'm going to put it, I'm going to use the rest of the sauce on it. Put it back in the oven for 30 more minutes. And see then if it's, um, it, now it'll be uncovered. So I'm going to see now if it, after 30 minutes, if it's done more. And I'm just going to put this on here. It smells amazing. It really does. This is a very simple recipe for a Polynesian chicken, but... That's what they call it on the um, diabetic site. And you, the recipe didn't call for potatoes in it. It just was chicken. And but like I said, I'm got some food that I've got to use before I can buy anything else. So. I went on and put the potatoes in here. I just had bought a 15-pound bag of potatoes, so I've got to get them used. Back in the oven now for another 30 minutes, and I'll bring you back and let you know if, it, if I do need more than 30 minutes when I bring you back. Okay, here's the finished dish. Um, I just got it out of the oven. I kept it in there for um, 45 minutes. So this took um, an hour and 45 minutes. And I'm going to go on. It's very hot now, but I'm going to go on and get some on my plate and let it be cooling off. Okay, I'm back. It's cooled off. Um, now I'm going to taste it and see whether I like it. I wish you could smell my house. It smells amazing from this. You can see I didn't get very many potatoes. Um, the chicken is what is good for me to eat. Alright, so I'm going to take a bite of the chicken. Mmm. Oh, this is delicious. You have the spiciness from the onions, or the savory from the onions, and then the sweetness from the peach um, preserves, and the, mm, this is really good, and the French dressing, mm, let me try potato.
Mm. The same way with the potatoes. This will be a dish that I will fix. And this is not dry. Mm. I'm telling you, this is awesome. This Polynesian chicken is good. Mm. Alright, if you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any um, diabetic diabetic um, dishes that you'd like for me to make, send them to me. Or your favorite dish. Like I said, I'm, I'm having so much fun and y'all are teaching me so much about different foods and I do not want to stop this. So please continue sending in your recipes. I've already gotten two or three um, diabetic recipes so I'm excited about that too. And tomorrow I'll be fixing um, a dish from Shelly. Shelly lives in um, Alabama and I'll be fixing her dish. So subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and y'all have a wonderful night. Bye.